this is at the core of our organizational purpose. So unlike many organizations where human capital is not necessarily at the core of their purpose, as a business school, um, we at Gibbs are part of the University of Pretoria, our entire world revolves around ensuring that individuals and organizations improve their performance through active learning processes. Um, and so it's what we eat, breathe and sleep at Gibbs. We've engaged with human capital based on models that have been developed in a time that no longer exists. And so if we look at the changing world, if we look at technology, if we look at disruptive business models, if we look at increasing uh, employee voice, this notion of we're hiring hands to come to work to do a job is absolutely out of date. The problem is that in many cases our models, our approaches to finding people, to the work that needs to be done, to ensuring that they are developed and capacitated, but that also the organization learns in a time of rapid change, really needs to shift. So to me, we've got a lot of learning to do about learning. I think we've got to start interrogating all of our assumptions around, for example, who's doing the learning? We've traditionally assumed it's all about employees. I don't think it's increasingly, it's increasingly about ecosystems. It's about us learning in partnership with our suppliers, with our partners, in cases with government. We go on joint learning journeys to be effective. I think our notion that learning takes place in classrooms and that when it does its training is out of date. The issue here is that we can acquire new ways of, and, and embed new ways of doing things. And so where we learn, how we learn, the role of technology to support that is absolutely critical. I think one of the, the important things to mention though is the, the need for agility in learning. So the, the curriculum and the way that we have trained that might have been in place in our organizations for the last five or 10, or in certain cases 50 years, is probably not doing the job as well as it could do. And so we need to take a step back and be able to design learning processes and systems that are just in time, that help the business achieve its purpose. When HR practitioners get together, there's enormous power, not only in what they take home from the speakers, but in the opportunity to create what I would call learning space, to actually take a step back from the day-to-day -day running in their organizations and really think a little bit about how are we doing things. So it's more powerful than reading a book on your own in the evenings, for example. And I think what really adds to it is who else is in the room. How, to what extent are people using the opportunity to engage at those tea breaks, at lunches, refresh their thinking, question and challenge their assumptions, and ultimately enhance the profession. I'm Nick Leclain, the Dean of the Gordon Institute of Business Science at the University of Pretoria, and you're watching The Future of HR.